Hello, this is Taryn Ogle, and this is my presentation on accreditation and approval of a pre-licensure nursing program. Before discussing accreditation and approval in depth, it's important to begin with an understanding of these terms. Accreditation is a status that indicates a nursing program has established and is working towards appropriate educational objectives and standards for structure, function, and performance. Approval is a status earned by completing a process that proves a program is implementing and adhering to regulatory standards. Accreditation and approval have similarities and differences. These statuses are both awarded to designated nursing programs that are meeting predetermined criteria that indicate program success and effective education. However, these two designations are awarded based on different criteria. Accreditation is a status that is voluntary in some states and is often costly. Nursing programs cannot receive accreditation until the first class has graduated. Additionally, there is a longer renewal period which may be shorter if programs are not meeting accreditation standards. Approval is a mandatory status nursing programs must achieve prior to enrolling any students. This designa designation is required for students to be eligible for taking NCLEX. Program approval is renewed more often depending on the state. I am a member of Group 1 and we chose the Higher Education University to review and evaluate. This university's pre-licensure nursing program is both approved and accredited. The program's approval was awarded by the state's Board of Nursing based on the state's Nurse Practice Act, which includes specific key components. These components that are evaluated prior to awarding approval include governing entity, program leadership, faculty, curriculum, clinical learning experiences, physical and fiscal resources, and evaluation plans. The Higher Education University's nursing program is accredited by the Commission on Collegiate Nursing Education. To achieve accreditation through the commission, this program had to fulfill the four standards, each with its own set of substandards. One component of accreditation is for a nursing program to align with the parent university's mission, vision, and philosophy which is the case for the Higher Education University's nursing program. Furthermore, the program represents the mission, vision, and philosophy within the curriculum. This nursing program utilizes the accrediting body's Standard 3 as their framework for the curriculum development. Standard 3 is titled Curriculum and Teaching Learning Processes. This standard contains 10 subcategories labeled 3A through 3J which identify different necessary considerations and components for creating baccalaureate curricula. Standard 3 sets expectations for clinical learning, teaching, strategi teaching strategies, and evaluation methods. The Higher Education University's nursing program discusses how they will meet each expectation within the curriculum evaluation plan to fulfill the specific subcategories. To ensure teaching learning practices facilitate student learning to meet course outcomes, both student feedback and peer evaluations occur at regular intervals, which is in accordance with 3G. Additionally, a curriculum committee discusses nursing educators' self-evaluations during routine meetings. The nursing program strives to secure unique clinical experiences at various clinical sites to fulfill 3H. Finally, Nursing educators use their discretion to implement the most appropriate evaluation methods for course assignments. These methods should align with both course and program outcomes. The Higher Education University's nursing program chooses the essentials of baccalaureate education for professional nursing practice as their professional standards. There are a total of nine essentials that serve as a foundational framework for creating a curriculum for a baccalaureate nursing program. These standards set the expectations for what students should accomplish within the program before graduating. This program proudly embodies the professional nursing standards within the curriculum, which demonstrates their dedication to graduating successful professional nurses. 
Watson's Caring Science is the caring theory that I prefer to use for a guide as a nurse educator. As Hills et al. stated, a curriculum based in caring science creates, quote, a solid foundation for reconnecting the heart, soul, mind, emotions, and the human spirit of students and teachers alike, end quote. Additionally, a caring science curriculum connects with the students and teachers on emotional, mental, and spiritual levels, which creates a loving classroom that evokes passion, learning, and wisdom sharing. Furthermore, caring science supports my nurse educator philosophy, which emphasizes the importance of students taking responsibility for their learning. Nursing educators partner with students in a caring relationship to provide assistance and feedback which ultimately increases deeper learning and understanding. And these are my references. Thank you.